Ladies and gentlemen, the weekend. It's interesting and it's, you think that, sometimes I think that as humans, we think we're the most, we're the most interesting creatures on earth and we're the only ones who would have different languages. No. But that's so fascinating that they uh -huh. do as well and they can teach each other. And they're singing. singing. So they're communicating and singing at the same time. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. You just reminded me also of Finding Nemo with Dory and she tries to talk whale. We're not going to get into that because I can't do that. As successful as mine was. <laughs> These robots can adjust to all of the nooks and crannies mm. in your mouth. Nice. Listen, I'm all for evolution and science, but there's a reason why the toothbrush has stood the test of time. Right? I, as usual, I have several more follow-up questions. Right. Like, what happens, where do you keep them? Like, do oh. you keep them in like a little jar, oh, like fireflies? Oh. Okay, I'm gonna be real honest with you right now. Our producer Michelle and I spent about 10 minutes today trying to come up with a fancy name for people who are obsessed with hockey. We came up with puck heads, barn animals, and some others that really probably aren't suitable for TV at all. So after all that, we decided to just go with Hockey fans. We know, it's boring. We tried. They will also have a petition there that people can sign to renew their support of the project. They were able to raise about $10,000 before the pandemic, but Chris told us about a lot of other water towers, Kate, that have already been transformed into other whimsical objects from a peach to a bottle of ketchup. Well, we are keeping our fingers crossed so with this. Absolutely. Out there. He said he increased his speed dramatically by doing hand strengthening exercises and using a single hand snapping technique. The previous <laughs> record was 67. David snapped 83 matches in 30 seconds and that is just mesmerizing but why good for you david yeah. most notably last time he had his brother-in-law involved i remember because <laughs> he was the one catapulting yeah. the marshmallows <laughs> into his mouth now he has a child involved like yeah. the adults are like we're out david yeah every time there's some sort of hangover remedy the first thing is always, well, you could not overindulge. But if you're uh -huh. looking that up, if you're looking at it to begin with, most of the time you're probably, it's already too It's already late. gone. You're yeah. like, please help me. <laughs> My head hurts and it's a big mess. And that is Most Buffalo for today. Thanks so much for being here. I'm Kate Wellshow for Be Well, Stay Well. We'll see you next time.